Today, we are joined by Jeremy Asbrock. He is a guitarist who plays for Ace Fraley and Gene Simmons in their respective solo bands. Not a bad gig if you can get it, but there's a reason he got it. And uh, us being KISS nerds, we just got to pick his brain. And man, did he have a lot of great info and insight and uh, just a lot of cool stories. And he's a chill personality, man. Uh, You were talking about this earlier. Yeah, that's... That's one of the things that's <clears throat> that's really great. We've we've only met a few times, but I feel like it's a a brother, you know, kind of a related somehow. Um, and he, the same with his uh, one of his his people is uh, Philip Schaus. Yes, and I've I've gotten to work with Philip uh, firsthand, and they're they're kind of the same guy, yes. which is really we, <laughs> kind of this strange. That's- that's like you know, kind of kind of ginger, hippie hair, light complexion, kiss nerd thing that yeah. the three of us have. I might be the older brother out of the three of them, but <laughs> um, I just, I, I, you know what it is? I'll, I'll say it. I fell in love with those dudes, just how they are, personally, immediately, and uh, there's reason for that. They're just good people. And Ryan, who also is in both of those respective projects is yeah. the nicest guy. And I've met him a couple times now too. And un- he's just unbelievable. There's something in the water. I don't know what those guys are drinking. Evian? Yeah. Perrier? yeah. I don't know. And the, you know, the, they're all three of them are childhood friends. They grew yeah. up together worshiping kiss and now yeah. they're playing with Gene and Ace and uh, Philip. You mentioned Philip Schaus has been an accept for a number of years and well, all, uh, all of these guys are are like you could say that they're I don't look at them this way, but they would partially admit that they're side men. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And and they 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 probably have a laugh about that. But I don't see any of them as side men. It's like, OK, well. Sure, maybe their spots in in whatever project they or whoever the boss is that yeah. that the part they play is replaceable because they're just performers in a traveling show. But I don't see them as that because of the spirit that they all have. Yeah, and the turnover is not big in those bands. Do you think Gene and Ace want to have to worry about who's standing next to them ever? Right, no right. No way. So that proves the point again as to why my feeling is strong about, uh, you know, how how the force majeure, you know, the storm that they bring because it's in their blood. Um, yeah, and and the three of them have a band together. Yes. Which makes Rock, it even, yeah. Rock City Machine Company. They just put out an album. Well, I say just. It's, it's, it came out late last year, September, October, mm-hmm. somewhere around there. Uh, Rock City Machine Company. They're, they're, uh, it's available independently. So you, you have to go to uh, Ryan, uh, Cook. Ryan Cook's Instagram. S- socials. Or, Go to Ryan uh, Cook and uh, say we sent you. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna make you a great deal on their hard rock record. And just which, for, uh, uh, just to narrow it down, it's Ryan Spencer Cook. I don't know what he goes by on Instagram or whatever. But oh, that, okay, you know, all right. That might narrow the field a little bit because if you just look up Ryan Cook, you're gonna get an onslaught. Yeah, and, so, and you know. Ryan Spencer Cook, I I I recall seeing that name all over my socials. So obviously, we know some of the same people, and I bet our listeners do too. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's good stuff. It's good you know, seventies based hard rock. So, uh, well, with that out as well, with who they're, uh, the bosses they work for might lead you to think some things about, uh, their record, but I feel like there's a lot more than that. And, uh, um, you know, um, he talks about that today. Yeah, I feel like he goes into, well, Jeremy mentions Beatles and, and and all of the obvious like late seventies hard rock, you know Van Halen yeah. and ACDC, yeah, all of that. So. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 good stuff. Uh, check that out as well. Rock City Machine Company, and uh, of course uh, there is you know now that you bring it up, there is a reason why these three guys 
uh, connect so well. They it's obviously weird. they grew up together. They're childhood friends. They're Kiss fanatics. Uh, and I've never really talked to Ryan, but now I've talked to Jeremy, and we've had Philip Schaus on this show before. Mm -hmm. And personality wise, they're very similar. So I guess on that level, they click too. They they make a great you know team. Yeah. If if um if you have the time uh after you, after this airs and you watch this one and we we hope you enjoy it because Jeremy is he's golden he's yeah. fantastic person and performer and and player and uh go watch um the Philip Schaus episode because you if you watch them back to back you're going to find some things and sure the stories are going to cross over a little bit as well but one story makes the other one legit. Uh, yeah. And it kind of makes the similarities sort of click like a puzzle piece too. Yeah. So. Well, they're living their dream. They grew up Kiss fanatics. They're playing not, not just with one of the guys from Kiss, but two of them, Gene Simmons and Ace Fraley. Yeah. And it's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. And Philip has been busy with other artists. He plays with uh, a couple of different country artists. I can't remember the country guy that he's out with currently. But um, he's uh, he's still a member of Accept, um, mm -hmm. and I think that I don't know he might be uh, over there over over the pond with Accept now. But I know that uh, they had a replacement. Um, Joel, yeah, Holkstra. Joel Holkstra was yeah. stepping in for Philip because he had uh, prior engagement. So it's, it's it's interesting not to go off on Accept how that's like a collective kind of and how yeah. wolf hoffman has joyfully accepted this you know it's like oh yeah it's cool philip you do you, you know what do you think about joel hoekstra oh my god yeah hell yeah and joel hoekstra has come in and it's all these cool mellow rad shredding guitar players who can just come in and get the fucking job done yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> i mean it's a great time to be an accept fan uh i think that they're all getting something special no matter who is opposite of wolf hoffman and some credit to uva lulas which is the other uh sort of two right hand men you know what i mean and and accept for wolf hoffman so, yeah and accept is just killing it right now so it's funny how all of this is kind of related um and uh, I'm I'm excited for accepting KK's Priest, which is coming through Austin. Yeah, yeah. Do you have tickets yet? I do not. Yeah, I got to figure that one out. Yeah. Hey, Fair Mark. Later. Hey, hi, Mark. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> you know. Remember my friend Dave? See if I can make a phone call for us. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Jeremy Asbrock is awesome, and I'm so happy that uh, that he wanted. He wanted to come on the show. Uh, I mean, we wanted him as well, but he, he was on our list. I just can't find that list anywhere, and he reminded me. It's like, hey, when am I going to do your podcast? I said, right now. Let's yeah. go. Let's make so, it happen. Yeah. Well, so he, um, he was kind enough to spend some time with us. He's in the dressing room uh, yeah. in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I believe. Or Orlando, they're playing the Hard Rock uh, oh, tonight in Orlando. Orlando. Okay. Yeah. He's in Florida somewhere and uh, was kind enough to spend some time with us before he has to do a show tonight. So that was really cool of him as well. But great. yeah, uh, a great story, a lot of great accomplishments and a chill dude, Jeremy Asbrock today on the Talk Louder podcast. <laughs>